Hey guys, quick video on how to swap a Chiron BMS uh, on a V2 or V3 battery. Uh, this is a V2. V2 uses smaller connectors and smaller ribbon cables. The V3 uses larger connectors, so it's they, they actually, well, it's an improvement. They are easier to remove. Uh, the way to remove them is you need to remove the adhesive if there is any uh, and once done, you just need to press the tab and pull the connector out, just like this guy here. Pull the tab and pull the connector out. So, once you open the top, this is what you have. You got two ribbon cables. One, sorry, one is here. Remove them from here and this one from the BMS. Or if you have access to the BMS, and you can remove them from the other side. As long as, as it's disconnected from the BMS, it's okay. Once done, you can remove positive and negative. Start with the positive, remove. This is how it looks like. You got screws, they're covered with uh, yellow goo, which is like an electronic adhesive. Uh, just try to peel it off with a long nose. Make sure you don't short out the case with the terminal or with anything else and remove the power wires. Remove all six, and then you can work on the top like this. Once it's off, make sure the ribbon cables are out here. There's one here for the uh, display. Remove the four screws, and then pull on the BMS. Pull evenly with your two hands if you can. Replace the BMS board. Line up the pins here. push on it, put the four screws back in, and then take the top and bring it next to the battery, connect positives and negatives, start with the negative, then put the positive, and at last, connect all the ribbon cable onto the BMS. Last step is always the balance wire and uh, the display and the uh, temp sensors. So hope that helps.